Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's Crystal. Um, I just finished a good um, working out and um, um, I got a response to a post. Someone posted something about something going on in one of the churches that is an extension of a branch or so to say of our denomination and you know um every church has its um the reason why i'm coming today is because it comes as no surprise to me in the fact that um this is what i really want to say um the core of our beliefs has to be centrally focused on god in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god um the bible the holy scriptures are inspired by the holy ghost um when jesus says things he even says it comes from i'm just doing the will of my father um the holy ghost even says i'm just going to repeat what god want okay so it's always about the will of god right what god's words at the core of it um anything that is going on in your church and if you don't seem to if it doesn't line up by basically if it doesn't line up with the word of god it is of the devil it's a, it's a lie it might be flesh some, some somebody else want to do you know that's why it is so important to go back to to know your word okay to be let me show you what the word is we have so many religious beliefs out there this is the word it's called the holy bible and i read the king james version because um it's not hard for me to comprehend the king james version the king james this is like a five dollar maybe a seven six dollar book from the bible bookstore and oh look 2.99 what's your excuse okay i'm trying to be nice and this is another book i have y'all like my shirt angels exist boom i'm an angel i'm a messenger of god boom you'll study that one in your word when you get to it let me help you out real quick this is another book and the reason why i show y'all these books it took me like an hour to find this thing in the bible bookstore with the help of a clerk one of the workers there it's called the strongest strongs is also concordance of the holy bible we had books on the floor looking for this what it is if you have a bible and my family know i'm deep in a word you have a bible it has a concordance in the back well this one's too small to have a concordance because it's only 299 right get straight to the point with the word this is a concordance See, I'm not telling you. Strong and strong is also concordance of the Bible. It has Greek and Hebrew in it. All right. So now, say if there was a word I didn't understand. Uh, if I wanted to know about love, I will find love in this book, and then I will find a scripture to match. You know what? You know where I, where it is that I'm having question about. So let's just say love. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. No, 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 no. Hold on a minute. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Matthew 5, 44. All right. And in here, under the L section, it says Matthew 5, 44. And then it says, there's some numbers beside it. It says number 25. So I will go to the back to the, if I'm in Matthew, that's the New Testament. I will go to the Greek. So you can follow this by the Strong's online. I'm going to go to the Greek. I said 55, right? So go to the Greek. And 55 says, 
Yeah, I don't I don't look up the 25. It was 25. Thank you, Holy Ghost. To love in the NT, which is the um, New Testament, usually the act of love of God for his son and his people, and the act of love of his people are to have for God each other and even enemies. So God wants us to love everybody. He wants us to treat everybody right. All right, because <clears throat> he is love, so he wants us to show forth his love. So they say that the see the um the Old Testament, the writers, they say the language of the writers was Hebrew, and the language of the writers of the New Testament of the time, the writers of the time was they were speaking Greek, and so I really call this my Bible dictionary. Um, so I paid about, now the back side of this is missing, but I caught a Christmas sale for my brother and I got, I got one for like 24. I might have paid 30 something, maybe 40 for mine. Anyways, it was worth it. And then I have a good dictionary. Oh yeah. And I got this one on the clearance in the sale bin at my at the college I was attending, the UAH, and it was on sale, probably five ninety nine seven. dollars I was praying for a good dictionary. This was sitting there, and I was like, hey, what's that? Look at that. That's a really good brand new dictionary, and it is very, it's a very strong dictionary. It's at the collegiate level, okay? So it's not a child's dictionary. Now, you may ask me, why am I coming to you? Who cares? I'm coming to you because uh, if you've heard, if you have not figured it out, all the churches, um, even in Revelation, the book of Revelation, and it talked about being, when you're in a body, you're a member of a, of a church body unit where Christ is the head. Um, you're not, you're going to see some things going on, right, that do not it's people just operating in help me hella ghosts. They live in the way that they they're not living right. They're not making and um so what I'm trying to say is if you know your word, you will be able to please God by following him and doing his will. Maybe correcting somebody, reproving somebody with the word of God. Um, because I can sit here and tell you what is going on in our church, but I can guarantee you there's something going on in yours because the book of Revelation at the very beginning talks about the seven churches or the seven ones. And it even talks about the pastors of those seven churches, the angels or, or messengers. And you will learn that if you study your Bible, the Greek and Hebrew talks about, if you look for angel, what does that mean? The messengers of the churches. So, um, it talks about the members in the churches. And, and see, John, who was given the revelation, him, hella goes, the Lord wanted him to write a letter to the churches to reprove them in Christ and love and God and um, to get them ready for the coming of Christ, right, for his time. But it's, it's sealed in this book. I mean, God don't want us to add or take away any words from this book. I mean, sealed is, it's still there. It remains for us to view and see, okay, we're not supposed to be doing this. We're not supposed to be doing that. Um, but he also talked about a people in particular in my, and, and what, that did not bow down themselves to idols. Um, so even in the church, you they were crying out and they were, you know, they had not submitted to this thing that was going on in their church. Um, so I want to just encourage you that if they're, take it, go to God. Um, sincerely, bold face, and, and be bold with, you know, your, your leaders in correction and love. Be able to, what I mean by that is, be able to um, have a conversation with them. Um, a rapport. You, you should already be friendly and they should know who you are. You, know, you should be serving in ministry. We should be able to talk to our leaders just like any other member um, 
God has blessed some of us to have, some of us to even be closer maybe than some. I don't know why. I mean, situation, scenario, use opportunity, whatever God tells you to do. That's what I'm trying to say. If he tell you to pray for your pastor, pray. You know, and that's what I'm really trying to say. Go as God leads you. And so because um, we all are in this together, if you understand what I'm saying, we have to be willing and obedient, um, stewards, good stewards, and um, too much is given, much is required. And so um, that is what I wanted to come to you and say today that the Lord has given, if, if you know something to do, the Bible says, for him that know what to do with good and do with it not, he didn't know to do good and do with it not, to him it is a sin. Because you knew right and you didn't correct that person. You knew wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, that gets me to another point. If you, and I tried to say this the other day, help me, Holy Ghost. Just because, help me, Holy Ghost, you ain't around your family. You have standards that have already, the Bible says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when, he's, when he is grown, he will not depart from it. Whatever has been instilled in you, you need to make sure that you are following that. Because it, it, the Holy Ghost, God is a keeper in this wicked world. And for me, the challenge was, um, I could just tell you by experience that I sometimes experienced, you know, not seeing the standard that I was raised um, in. And the majority, um, help me, Holy Ghost, was not following the standard. And I, I figured, well, hey, they're not following the standard and it's just me. I'm all alone. This is too much for me, God. Maybe I should do. No, Holy Ghost stepped in. You do. You, you. He says, I will lift up a standard against them. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, I will lift up a standard. He let me know he would give me the strength to stand in that moment. And so what I want to encourage you is let God be your God. Let him be your standard his word let him be your power and your strength let the holy ghost be your strength your guide your let because the god god and the holy spirit are one so let him take over let him have his way let him regulate your mind let him guide your thoughts and control your your being it's just about being submissive Sometimes we cannot handle things on our own and we need, we need a supernatural power. We need God's power. We need him for everything, really. The breath we breathe, the, the thoughts we think, you know, we, we need to be, in order to have control, you're going to need God. You're going to need God because it's a fight between God and and Satan and God has good angels and the devil has demons they're fallen angels because he was kicked out of heaven so you 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 there is a war waging and you're gonna have to pick your side whose side are you leaning on leaning on the Lord? now whose side am I on I'm on the Lord's side he tell you do not be he said I wish that you were hot or cold um, and not look warm for I spit you out my mouth. Um, some people say, well, I'm riding the fence. So, no, you're not. If you live in a sin, you on whose side? The devil. They don't want to tell you that. They want to say, oh, yeah, you're going to have to repent. And you're going to have to turn from your wicked ways. And you're going to have to leave that alone. That's what they want to tell you. Okay, so... Hmm. So all I want to say is, wow, you know, some people be like, put them on blast, put them on blast. We already know, like, there is a time and a season, there is a way to be 
there is a way to approach a matter and correct a matter. I think as long as, I think right now is not my time. And there's just a way that I feel like things should be done. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this by the book. This book. And, and as much of my spirit as I want to go in on, on a particular topic, which is why I came here on this microphone today, I'm going to have to pray about that. But um, I just want to encourage the listeners right now today that, you know, uh, God is on the throne. God is in control. And when, you know, when I do have that platform, that time to speak on that issue, when I when I know it is time, I'll do it. Yeah, I pray my strength in the Lord. Just trying to get you ready to go home, be with Jesus when the Lord comes. When he cracks the when the when the when the, when the, when the clouds roll and when he cracks the skies, they say, when he's coming in the clouds, you be ready. Not trying to get ready. Too late. All right. So um, bless y'all and the Lord and uh, to God be praised. I just wanted to come in here and be honorable, decent, and having self control. Um, because um, no matter the fact that we um, we the the fact is that we we gonna have to come together in unity of mind because that's what the Lord is waiting on. No matter the fact that we we somebody attend this church, somebody attend that church. What I'm saying is we are gonna have to come together, and this is how we come together. How did we get so divided on this? And I've learned something that either you know this or you don't. I think that's where division comes. Either you're living by this or you ain't. Either you're studying this or you're not. Either you're reading this or you're not. Either this is on the inside of you. Either you're hearing it to where to get on the inside. You're reading it for it to get on the inside. You're speaking it. You're quoting it. It should be on the inside of you. The Bible says, somebody said, Thy word have I hid in my heart was a David that I might not sin against thee. Either it's in there or it's not. And um, what I mean by that is, he said, don't just read it do it and that's why i'm trying to have self-control in this matter don't just read this book he said that's like going to the mirror and forgetting what you look like walking away and forgetting what you just saw oh that's cute and you walk away what do i have an afro or do i have a wig uh, or do i have straight perm hair all I'm saying is to keep confusion out the way when the devil come and try to spit stuff, you need to know this line by line, precept upon precept. You need to study this book. I'm going to put this on YouTube. I need to do a wide share on this because I think I'm, this is a good word today. Heavenly Father, thank you for your sent word. Bless your name. Let me stop. But I just wanted to admonish you because I have this, I have somebody that I, I've had a comment. Well, I, I, I talked to someone and really, really, if, help me, Holy Ghost, I, I think we need to be closing. I think if you just know this, even children need to know this. Read it to your children who can't read yet because they want to know this too they need to know this they need to know what to do oh my god the children too yes the children too if you could teach them how to speak shouldn't you teach them this how to live oh and for those who are going to college you need to get a church home 
Don't be getting out because the devil out there just just waiting. He like there. Oh yeah, hold on, let me get it. Here she come, boy. Let me get her. Let me get him. You know, because if you're away from home and you're away from the norm, having body members of the body of Christ to speak in your ear instead of the devil speaking in your ear to hold you accountable, keep you close to Christ, keep you out of the out of trouble, misery, shame. Let me quit. So you're gonna need to find you a church home. I wanna suggest <clears throat> help me how it goes. I attend uh, I'm a member of First Church in my community, Seven Day Adventist. So, if you're looking for a church home, praise the Lord. It may be hard, but some things we need we need to get our priorities right. Um, it's important that you get an education, but the Bible says. Um, what is the profit of man to gain the whole world? You're going to get an education to make them make them dollars, ain't you? Ain't no wrong with that. Don't miss what I'm saying. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? He done got all his degrees. He done earned his salary. And he still ain't saved. And lose his own soul. He ain't profited nothing. Because he missed the kingdom. You don't want... I'm not saying you. I'm just saying that's, that's scripture. You don't want you see well you understand what I'm saying. When they come back, you don't want to be left behind. And so what I'm trying to tell the children is that you need to be getting ready for Christ's return. Um I think I just want to say thank you, Lord, on that. Thank you, Lord, because, thank you, Lord, because I know my calling. Let me write that down. And I know my purpose. See, once God, when the Lord give you a calling and a, a purpose, just do it. Just do it. Don't worry about everything, how it's going to get done. Matter of fact, I'm going to pray on that thing. So, um, I just want to uh, admonish you all to love the Lord with all your hearts. And, you know, He is the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the inhabitants and they that dwell therein. Um, God, he will. See, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. He will tell you. He will. You have a purpose. You know, so just, just do it. Just do what he's given you to do. Um, don't, uh, don't do don't do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. That's what I would say. Don't don't delay it. <laughs> they don't tell you that either. But just being real, coming to you like a friend. You know, just do what you're supposed to be doing. Live right. If you know you're not supposed to be, you know what I mean. Why would you go do that just because you already know what's gonna happen to you? So why would you go and steal when you know you're gonna have to give it back? God saw that. It was ugly. And so, all I'm saying is, just just avoid, like, the stuff. That's what I'm saying. Be it, know, know about this book right here. That way you don't have to pay to, you don't have to deal with the consequences of your actions when you get found out. You don't even want to have to deal with it being on your mind. You just don't want to have to deal with it. So, all I'm saying is, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless. So, you don't, you don't have to get involved in trouble. 
if you already know it's a sin, don't do it. If you got a question, if you got something on the inside telling you, hey, don't, don't, listen. I know you won't, but listen. All right, well, I just wanted to come to you because I, I love y'all so much. And I wanted to be honest with you. And I wanted to come with intent because I tried to come with the video earlier and it it went by. It went, it went full enough. And I like to come when I actually got something to say. Shout out Vicky Jones. Lock it. And so, um, y'all, uh, thanks for your, you know, you know, talking to me today or yesterday. And I just want to encourage you to be, have a purpose driven life by the Holy Spirit. So, um, I love y'all and I pray that you get into God. Okay. So I try to share with you everything that I, I know that I can share because I love you and I want what's best for you. All right. I gotta go. I've been working out. Let me click. All right. So I hope you all have a good night and I will see you on tomorrow. Bye-bye.